Hey, welcome back. What's that? You want to see what I've been wearing? All right. I'll show you. Just kidding. I know I'm doing this for myself. Uh, Everyday Fits from a Sneakerhead, episode two. Let's get right into it. All right, so the first shoe I've been wearing, the Ballistic Air Force Ones. Uh, first one with just one of my favorite cream shirts, a Uniqlo Alice in Wonderland collab that I actually found in Hawaii. Uh, great pastel colors and art style. And then my favorite pants. So smart pants from Uniqlo, of course, cuffed to be three quarters length. And lastly paired uh, with the same olive drab up top uh, with a vintage Boeing hat. And I think overall, these all work together because everything is pretty neutral. And there's just a nice pop of color on that graphic of the tee. And so layering this up a bit with a cream swoosh crewneck from Nike, same concept, everything is neutral, you get a nice pop of blue up on the crewneck embroidery on the sleeves, and again, cream on the main top piece I think just provides a really nice base in a neutral color that isn't just a white or black top. And layering one last time, uh, this is the Banks Journal plaid shirt jacket, another neutral piece, very easy to wear with everything, and I think the colors on this jacket just add a nice semi-refined look to the fit. And to complete everything, my favorite crossbody bag from the North Face in olive and khaki. Some more neutral colors, uh, just to add a bit more detail with a bag. And again, a tip, if you feel like any fit is lacking, I think add a bag and you're good to go. Onto another sneaker I've been wearing, the Yeezy 700s. So a very, very popular model that's conflicting among sneakerheads. I think everyone who has the Wave Runners feels like every new color of the 700s is kind of played out and that it's kind of a boring model. But everyone who missed the Wave Runners, I think, really likes every new color because they're just another chance to get the 700 B1 model. Putting this on with a fit, um, a short cuff beanie up top from Banks Journal, JW Anderson and Unico collab on the tee in a nice teal green, and brown Dickies double knees pants just to add a warm earth tone to the fit. And overall, uh, I like this one. Uh, even though I wore this a really long time and even though it's pretty basic, I like the beanie detail and how the shirt just complements the sneakers subtly because the teal is pretty minimal at the bottom of the sneakers. And I think the brown workwear pants bring it together with a nice relaxed fit, slightly rugged aesthetic, and of course layering up a little bit. Uh, with my gray skeleton crew neck from Minimal, everything tones down a little bit. So less stylish, but more comfort and versatility I think in the neutral gray up top with the crew neck. And moving right along. Onto what I thought was Nike's best sneaker last year, the Pata Air Max 1 in Monarch. So I think this sneaker already has so much praise about how Pata changed the mudguard and made a classic silhouette their own in the Air Max 1, but what does it for me is just how comfortable and versatile this pair is. But here I have them in a very simple fit, a uh, base layer with my favorite dark gray oversized tee from Uniqlo, basic slim fitting H&M black denim, and a nice cream hat up top just to add a bit of pop and pair with the cream on the sneakers. But layering up, same concept, but with my little puffy crew neck in a washed black. I think this crew neck just has amazing cream details that pair so nicely with the cream of the midsole of the sneakers and the hat. So shout out to the back graphic and cream, just such a nice detail and I think it's what makes this one of my favorite crew necks. And if I toss on one final layer, uh, with this oversized denim jacket, it's almost a coat in a nice medium wash, and I think this is nicely layered for the cooler days. The jacket definitely shares a statement piece here with the sneakers. It's playing off one another with the complementary tones in the burnt orange and the washed blue. And lastly, like I said, if something is missing detail, pair it with a bag, in this case, black utility tote from Supreme, and I think it's a complete and also functional fit. Up next, totally just skipping uh, these sneakers because I've talked about them before, but pretty basic dad fit that I think if you stay tuned to the channel, you've probably seen me wear a lot uh, throughout my videos. But baggy old medium wash jeans with a baggy light crew neck, and it's just an easy go-to for me when I don't want to think too hard about what I'm wearing, uh, kind of just like all the dads out there. And I think it works. Uh, just an easy way to pair the Lightning 4s, which are honestly super bright, but actually Pretty easy to wear. Uh, you can wear a lot of things with these sneakers as long as they're neutral or complementary. And in this case, I think the jeans are a nice complementary blue, so not all the attention is going to the fours in that super bright yellow. But pair this up with a final accessory, the Leonard's tote with a nice big graphic, and I think it's just another nice color in the bright pink that pulls more attention away from the Lightning fours and just makes it more comprehensive as a fit overall. 
Oh, and next, one of the biggest steals I've come across, Jordan 5 Fire Reds for $140. They basically came dead stock, so big shout out to the homie for scooping these up for me. So base bit here, up top, Kif Souvenir Tea and Cream, always a staple, uh, cream tea with a chest graphic. And at the bottom, Wash Black Denim here, uh, just also a really big staple that I usually throw on with anything. And the nice detail here is that I cut the bottom hem on the denim just so that they drape really nicely height-wise over the tongue of the sneakers, and it still reveals just a little bit of sock for a bit of transition between your pants and your sneakers. And so layering up now, thrifted, brushed cotton shirt in this really nice deep maroon that's slightly oversized. And cut the sleeves here so it doesn't look like I'm ready for a fifth grade slap fight. And custom tailored, just kidding. I actually cut the bottom hand on this shirt too, uh, just to make the piece fit slightly cropped. And I think with that cropped look, it definitely allows the cream layer of the tee to show. And overall, the color of the shirt, just a nice complement to the red accent of the fives. And I think just refines this fit overall with the collar and also an outer layer. And with the accessory, I think a more casual five fits a uh, cream tote here to complete my basic boy fit. But hey, at least I'm not in a flannel. So Air Max 90 Smoke Rays, a very quick one here. Um, I think the sneaker is very underrated. It's definitely on par with some great new balances, even though it just doesn't hit differently because it's a Nike silhouette and a Nike sneaker. But overall, this is a big Aaron's fit that I wear. Uh, just a gray hoodie, no drawstrings for the detail. At the bottom though, black sweatpants for minimal with skeleton embroidery. Just wear this with any pair of sneakers, grab groceries, get the mail, take a quick walk, and you're good to go. All right, next one, wow. Uh, way out of my comfort zone here, but styling down the Royalty 12s, uh, the big statement piece because everything else is black. Uh, again, that nice oversized denim jacket. Uh, medium blue wash, a little bit longer than most jackets. Pants, we got black workwear double knees from Dickies again. These, I also kept the hems on. I know I'm cutting the hems on everything, but just to give it more of that grungy look at the bottom. And I really like that, uh, especially with black double knees that are a little bit baggier than I'm usually more comfortable with. So up top, shortcut beanie, black mock neck, long sleeve to round it out. Overall, I think very stylized, but not something I think I'd wear every day. This is definitely out there. If you want to see this with an accessory, again, black supreme tote I think goes with the streetwear and just kind of utility and more grungy look of this outfit. Let's go on to the next sneaker, the ALD 550s in Evergreen. Uh, this is definitely a pair that I haven't worn as much as I thought I would have, but starting with the fit, thrifted running tee up top in a nice analogous green, and same up top with a forest green ace cap in a slightly brighter green. So on the pants, uh, definitely trying to get used to these off-white pants more, uh, and they've actually kind of become a staple in my rotation. I've just felt more comfortable wearing them. So this fit is pretty bare, but once I toss on, I think this JW Anderson peacoat in a plaid green, I think it works. It changes the entire color palette so that the plants are blatantly out there and just adds a nice bit of contrast and complements the other green pieces of the fit with the JW Anderson coat. And now that we're nice and cozy, I think adding the Supreme Utility tote here is a nice touch, uh, both for carrying stuff and for the streetwear uh, slash refined hybrid look to this fit overall. Yo, if you're still watching, comment down below, hashtag sick fits. Just kidding, please don't do that. Anyways. Onto one of my favorites because I got a decent fit off with these, the Jordan 1 metallic purple in the exact same color blocking as the Alma Manier ones. So if you're looking for a low budget version of the Jordan 1 Alma Manier, go for these. So here, paired with the shirt I got off Etsy with nice purple accents and same wash black denim and olive drab cap up top. Super clean and casual, but I think the fit and the styling of everything works well to dress down the Jordan 1s. And the metallic purples are really hard to wear, honestly, even though I made a video, I'm not the most proud of that video and my outfits in there, but I think something like this works pretty well. And layering up here, Patagonia women's snap lace in a nice cream color, super nice and oversized, super cozy now, and I think the ones still look good with this fit. I think the neutral pieces pair nicely with the metallic purples. Uh, the key here might be to go for a washed and neutral look just to reduce the amount of clash and contrast that disorganizes uh, a complete outfit if you do choose to wear this sneaker. But yeah, Overall, I like this one. Cozy, simple, pretty easy to wear every day if I really wanted to. All right, and Jordan 9s. Uh, very unpopular among newer sneakerheads, but I think old Jordan heads will know. Any charcoal 9s are super underrated and honestly, super nice. 
So like I said, off-white pants kind of become a staple in my wardrobe and they're back. Uh, they're paired with that same vintage running tee, this time with a short cuff brown beanie up top, but the beauty in this one I think is through layering. And with the next layer, we have my favorite Heather Gray hoodie. This is from Bricks and Wood. There's pink embroidery on the chest here and I think it's just a really nice accent to the gray. And with the hoodie, it's basic, it fits nice, and it looks good. But I think the best part is the next layer. So coming through with the Chesterfield coat from Uniqlo, the contrast of the black from the coat, and I think the off-white of the pants and gray of the hoodie, I think it's just a nice full fit with multiple details, multiple layers, multiple interest points, and overall, I think just a nice silhouette from the layered hoodie and the layered coat. It's very refined, but still very much a streetwear fit with the Jordan 9s and the hoodie and the beanie, especially if you want to get cozy and button your coat up and actually use the hood of a hoodie. Next up, okay, yurts on feet. So I've been wearing the yurts from New Balance a lot because I've been on this hiker core wave, but I think you'll see more of that in the next what I've been wearing video. So very strong with the earth tones in this one, base layer with Dickies double knees, again in brown, uh, Muji, brushed cotton shirt and olive drab. So with nice bright wood colored buttons. And if we layer up with this one with a women's Uniqlo Sherpa shirt jacket, nice big collars on this jacket in the nice dark gray. And I think it just adds to the cozy vibes overall with the fit. And I think it works really well to still play with that outdoors appeal of that hiker core that I mentioned, but definitely oversized in the jacket for a super comfy look. I feel like I'm ready to chill after a hike uh, by the campfire. Really like the earth tones on this one. Uh, I think it works really well with the yurts in the forest screen. Yurts again, this time in their better color. I think literally wore this the day after the forest greens. New Balance 574 yurts in the shark skin colorway. And first layer here, baggy and comfortable. Again, dad jeans from Goodfellow, skeleton crew neck from Minimal. I think the grays here play really well together and the medium blue wash of the jeans just add some nice color to this fit. And overall, I think it's accented by the black shortcut beanie up top. And playing with that same accent, I think using the Supreme Toad again, it's a nice streetwear utility touch. But finally, laying up, Uniqlo and White Mountaineering Sherpa Fleece with a bomber collar. So this is one of my favorite pickups this winter. It's so versatile, super cozy, and just super easy to wear. And actually reading a White Mountaineering article on this jacket, the creator mentioned that clothing should be stress-free. And this jacket is definitely stress-free. You can toss it on and you don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to really think too hard about what to pair this with. So again, gray and black accents to round it out. I think very, very clean. Next up, a conflicting sneaker in the sneakerhead community that I think deserves more respect. Bootleg Jordan 1s by Leon Shu. So these are modeled after the Nikes that were worn in Initial D. I don't watch Initial D, but very cool inspiration and pretty great execution on these. These are paired of skinny jeans, very rare for myself to wear nowadays, and a thrifted running event long sleeve tee with a great graphic up front. All right, so pretty simple as a base fit, but layering up here with a JW Anderson duffel coat that's a collab with Uniqlo and pretty refined now, although I think it looks a bit off uh, without an accessory up top. I think I would have added an olive cap here, but overall, I think not bad. It's clean, simple, easy to wear a Jordan 1 silhouette and denim. You can't go too wrong, but I wish I would have done a little bit more with this one. Oh baby, white Oreo 4s. My most successful video if you're basing success off of view count. And honestly, just one of the best sneakers to release last year that didn't make anyone's top 10 list. And being honest, it didn't even make my top 10 list, but just such a great sneaker. And I think honestly, that's probably because no one rates shoes based on sneakers that they actually wear anymore. But anyway, starting this one off, oversized Uniqlo tee, nice dark gray, washed black denim, and short cuff black beanie. Super simple, but I think everything fits well and is executed in different shades, just like the colorway of the sneaker, which is what makes it so great. And layering up here, first layer, again, little puffy crew neck, wash black, cream on the graphic. It's a beautiful layer to play with more gray and black tones, and I think just matches the colorway again of the sneakers in different shades of white and gray. And for me, I think the back graphic of the crew neck just really sets it off again. Just nice and bold. It's a really great point of interest and I think just a great design from Michelle Choi. And one more layer here for the winter. Again, Jill Sanders Uniqlo shirt jacket. 
This piece is actually very pricey at $149 retail, but I coughed up the dough after trying it on just because it fits so nicely on me. It's super nice and oversized, the materials are really great, and I think overall it's just a super, super versatile piece that can make any fit super refined, or you can dress down the shirt jacket super easily as well. All right, total opposite direction now. Taupe Light Yeezy 500s in a nice neutral earth tone. Paired with a Fear of God hoodie and tan, basically the same earth tone as the taupe lights here. Really nice text details, of course, from the Essentials line from Fear of God. And at the bottom here, self-cut three-quarter slim sweatpants for, I think, just a cozy way to rock all these pieces together and go really into that cozy core fit. So this is really heavy into the stay-at-home vibe. Uh, going for a style like this, fit and color is definitely key. If everything fits well and I think pairs nicely, I think you can definitely wear this out without looking like you just kind of rolled out of bed. So can a cozy fit be refined? I say yes in this case, just because as an example of this fit, the coordination of color, the fit, the pairing of each piece, I think just works together really coherently. And I think as long as your fit works together, all the pieces are playing nicely with one another, I definitely would say that it is refined. Next up, we got the Dunk Highs coming in in navy. So clean. Honestly, I don't think dunks are going anywhere, even though a lot of sneakerheads or people in the fashion community are kind of sick of them. I think there's just still a classic sneaker that is going to be really easy for anyone to wear around. So full fit here is with navy and white cream accents with some jewelry to just round it all out. So statement here is definitely the hat because of the bright off-white base up top, but swap it to a navy beanie and the statement I think becomes the crew neck because of its contrasting color blocking. And I actually wore this out with both the hat and the beanie in my pocket, just because it's been so cold lately and I didn't know if I needed that additional head layer. So layering up and toning it down a bit, tossing on that Jill Sanders shirt jacket again, can you see how easy it is to wear and how often I wear it? But once again, I think it changes the focus to the sneakers because it covers that contrasting color blocking of the crew neck and lets the contrast of the sneakers stand out a little bit more. And of course, same thing when changing headwear here. It just changes the focus of the fit, again, from the cream colored hat to the sneakers. All right, a fun one next. Uh, honestly, the perfect Jordan 5 for the winter time. These are an amazing consolation prize for me, the Anthracite Jordan 5s. Why are they a consolation prize? Because for me, the metallic vibes are a grail and I just haven't been able to get my hands on them. And I think after wearing the Anthracite 5s, I think these might be better than the black metallic 5s. Because this sneaker has just more gray tones in the dark gray, still metallic silver accents, and also reflective side panels. So overall, I think these are pretty damn good. But hey, this fit overall, I think black and gray tones with a splash of color from this boot-like Nike crew neck. And again, back with the oversized Sherpa jacket, just rounds it out as a cozy statement piece. And uh, because we're oversized with the jacket here, going with some baggy Dickies double knees in black, Really nice proportions, I think, overall, and everything plays nicely with one another. And next fit, I definitely just wanted to rock the denim Air Max 95s, and I figured the off-white jacket would go nicely here. So I wanted to pair the cream details of the sneakers with the jacket, and I think that actually works pretty nicely. So the thing I would have changed for this one, I think, would have been the headwear. Um, I think a black beanie would have definitely been a more cohesive accessory to play with that same black color contrast of the colorway on the sneakers and the overall fit. But I think the khaki hat still kind of works. Uh, not the most cohesive, but not too terrible either. Definitely not uh, my favorite just because of that accessory choice. And if you wanted to de-layer and wear this with just a crew neck, I think overall still pretty clean. Neutral tones. Nice pop of color from the green on the necklace and the green on the sneakers. So just finding little ways to bring out little aspects of the fits um, is definitely something I'm trying to get a little bit better at. Okay, and rounding out the last three fits. One of my favorites for this video, the Ochre Yeezy Foam Runners in this fit. So really, really sorry for not fixing my shirt here, but overall, black base, earth tone accents, so nice. Uh, wash black on the hoodie so I'm not a completely black blob. Going with the same Uniqlo fleece lined pants with some technical details. And really key detail here, tan socks with the ochre foam runners, which are actually a really beautiful dull brown. But anyways, back to the fit, accented with, again, olive cap and khaki shoulder bag. Earth tones 
with the faded black hoodie and just nice detail with the necklace and the bracelets and the rings. And I think just a really great way to wear the Easy Foam Runner Ochres. So taking a step further, uh, layering this up with that white mountaineering Uniqlo fleece I mentioned, the panels and the materials on this jacket I think just work so well to maintain that black and earth tone aesthetic without looking like a unibody black piece. I really think the textures and the fleece on this jacket just make it super versatile and way more interesting than if you had just a boring all black, all fleece jacket. So yeah, shout out to White Mountaineering and Uniqlo. Anyways, I really, really enjoyed this fit just because it's a blend of outdoorsy, streetwear, cozy and aesthetic vibes. And I think that just really speaks to me as uh, my style overall and especially what I like in terms of fashion and aesthetic. All right, second to last fit here, ALD 993s. So I think one of the best collabs of the year, just because they were so obtainable, they're so comfortable as a sneaker silhouette, and honestly, just so versatile on feet. So this is dressed up in the old man dad core fit. We got dad jeans, I got the grandpa sweater on, and outermost layer with the vintage khaki workwear jacket from St. John's Bay. But overall, I think, Beautiful brown accents in the corduroy on the jacket. I think that pairs really nicely with the brown 993s and also the brown beanie up top. So this one, pretty nice and cozy. Um, I'm pretty happy with this one too, just kind of as a new age dad core fit. So new age with the sneakers, but humbly dressed down with other dad pieces. Last but not least, thank you so much if you are still watching. Uh, last fit here with the Stray Rats 991s. Beautiful sneaker. I think they look really crazy off of feet with the neon yellow slash puke green, but on feet, I think they're actually beautifully detailed. In that same vibrant purple, you got a lot of rich browns, and that nice pop of crazy fluorescent yellow and green is actually pretty toned down and actually is a nice pop of color when they're actually on feet. So just trying to tone down the sneakers a little bit here, light brown crew neck from Poets, and same old crossbody shoulder bag. Minor details with silver rings. And layering up with the Patagonia Snap jacket again, super simple, super cozy for any setting. And man, I just love winter and fall because there's so many more opportunities to bring a bunch of pieces together by layering. And for once, uh, I actually feel like I have a pretty diverse and cohesive wardrobe. Hey, thank you so much if you watched this entire video throughout its entire duration. Um, 20 or so fits over the last six months, editing that down to one minute per fit was actually a lot harder than it seems. Um, I always go way over on my videos, but thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this is just a look into literally what I wear out uh, when I do wear stuff out. Yeah, these fits definitely aren't anything like super special or super posed or put together like a lot of fit pics I see, but definitely just, I think a good outfit diary for myself to kind of to kind of look back at over time and see how my style kind of progresses. And I definitely think that I'm getting a little bit more diverse, which is cool. But anyways, thank you again so much for tuning in. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, give this a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you really want to, uh, if you're even still watching this. And uh, yeah, man, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Comment down below, hashtag sickfits.